A leading Jewish organization is criticizing the Vatican's decision to move a World War II-era Polish cardinal along the path to possible sainthood. The American Jewish Committee says August Hollande was extremely hostile to Jews. The group is profoundly concerned that Pope Francis approved a decree recognizing the Poles' heroic virtues, the first main step in the sainthood process. He was the highest-ranking Catholic official in Poland between 1926 and 1948. Vatican correspondent Juliet Lindley joins us from Rome with more on this. Juliet, what is the main accusation against the late cardinal, and is there any evidence? Wyatt, Rabbi David Rosen with the American Jewish Committee, who's been a great friend to the Vatican, cites a 1936 pastoral letter written by the cardinal. And in that letter, he urged Poles to stay away from what he called the harmful moral influence of Jews and to boycott the Jewish press. The group also says the cardinal failed to take any action to protect the Jewish community from the Nazis. That's pretty strong accusations. How is the Vatican responding? Wyatt, there's been no official response from the Vatican, but I talked to the postulator of the Cardinal's cause for sainthood, and now that's the person who gathers all the information about the potential saint and presents the case to the Vatican. Now, he and his team both flatly deny the accusations, saying that the Cardinal's words in his 1936 letter have been misinterpreted. They say that when Hollande was in exile in France between 1940 and 44, he saved numerous Polish, French, and German Jews. And the postulator and his team also say that in the letter, the AJC quotes, Hollande stated that anti-Semitism was a sin, that the first divine law is to love our neighbor, and that Nazism was absolutely irreconcilable with Catholicism. Well, Juliet, in general, as you know, the Catholic Church has had a rocky relationship with the Jewish community in the last century. It's been up and down, but relations have improved dramatically in recent years. Tell us about that. That's right, Wyatt. You know, Catholic-Jewish relations was always a major topic during Second Vatican Council. And at the end of the Council, the Church officially denounced anti-Semitism and encouraged dialogue with the Jewish people. Now, John Paul II, as you recall, had a close relationship with many Jewish friends during his childhood in Poland, and he forged strong Catholic-Jewish relations throughout his pontificate. He was, remember, the first pope to visit a synagogue in 1986, and Pope Francis also has a close relationship with the community and Francis even wrote a book with a rabbi from his native Argentina Wyatt yes and obviously the influence of John Paul II continues to influence interfaith groups today Juliet Lindley EWTN News nightly Vatican correspondent thanks so much thank you Wyatt